Dr. Benjamin Olowo-Jebutu is offering free health services in collaboration with the Lagos State Government for fibroids, lipomas, and hernia. There were so many patients, but there was a special case. Her name is Moyo Shore. Moyo's case is different. She sat alone. Moyo is indeed a special case. It all started like a toothache. My name is Mr. Shari Adibola. I'm 42 years old. So this problem started 2014. I am an editor. So I thought, I just feel that pain in that particular teeth. So I went to the hospital. We knew that they will just remove that teeth. So on getting to the hospital, I saw the doctor. The doctor gave me test to go and do the test for what? He said, I will go and do the test. Then I was living in Shomoli. I'm a widow with two children. So I now, I now go ahead. I did the test. I made the report to the doctor. He gave me X-ray. I should go and do the testing at movie orthopedic which I did it in pain. On getting to the doctor, doctor asked me that did I used to fight with anybody? I said no. He asked me that have I had accident before? I said I had accident but it's a long time. For that time I don't feel anything. I don't feel any pain. The accident of me, along with my dress, first me, and immediately they rush everybody to Shanghai Hospital. They check everybody, nothing happens to me. I just have just only something mark on my leg, nothing again. The doctor suspected it was the accident, and from then on, her plight of pain and untold sufferings began. They say, the uh, accident is the cost. They are, they are going to operate it. And they say they cannot tell me the amount because they are going to determine the hospital where they are going to do it. That is how I started running to get money. I started running to people to assist me. Yes, so some people are even saying operation for what? This is my nothing. Some people are even thinking maybe I just want to collect it. I, I know what I'm saying. No. The doctor that told me that they are going to operate it, they are the one that do in that essay, they show me that thing has shift. The gun has shift up. I saw everything clearly. So, no wonder. I started running up and down. I called my mom. My mom said, I should come to the village because I'm from Kobe Street. Which I traveled to the village that time. So, they started preparing some help for me, which I started using it. Because it's really seriously that time. So by the time I started taking the ab, the pain is sustaining the pain. So when it is anything, but as the thing fell up, it did not go down. That is how 
who started as a accommodation problem. I cannot have where to pay our house rent because they prescribed some drugs to me for me to be using. I started buying the drugs and using it. So I now I came to the closing here. I get small place which I'm which I use because the money to get apartment is not hard. Single room is not hard as at that time. So but as the thing is getting is getting worst. I can't I can't do anything. Able to pay the rent is another thing. The landlord now can they do our property outside, they put everything outside. That is how I went to school with somebody. And what's more, the taunting, the unkind words, and even the rejection. Somebody oh, else, instead of that, they will be mocking me. They will be calling me so many names. Some people are still going on for me. Some custom, I don't have custom in game. I cannot do anything. They are the one out of the little that they have. They are the one that is left me. That is what I'm passing through. So when you say they are mocking you, what do you mean exactly? If they see me, they will say so many things about me. Like what? Like insulting me. Some people are able to say, ah, Mama Cancer, Mama Cancer is coming, Mama Cancer is coming. They call you Mama Cancer? Yes. She began to seek for help. One man offered to help her, but on one condition. I'm getting the real wine, chicken, sell as you, as you feel like doing. You want to entertain my sister? I don't do something like this. This is that you bring up. It's not for something like this, somebody like me. Just feel at home, feel at home. Because you can't even chew the chicken. No, no. I said, sir, I can't take it. I said, okay. I said, sir, Alpha, it's because of our discussion. That is why I can't. I, I, I know now. I can't forget now. But what is there is that you are not going home tonight. I said, why? Why am I not going home? Okay, you are going to play with me. Play with you for what? Which kind of play, you know? He said, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. The way I'm seeing your future, you have mature enough now. Okay, let me tell you. You are going to make make sense with me. I said, sir, I started crying. Her struggles continued. For five years on, she carried the tumor around. Rejected by her church Christian community, she was taken by a Muslim woman who knew her from nowhere. I don't know her from nowhere. But just because I'm making hair from even this hair that I'm having on me, she was the one that did it for me. During that uh, Eid al-Fitr, Alex, for that period to this period, you can see how lax it is. She's hardworking when we met. When that day, she didn't even want to say anything. I said, I look on to her. I said, What happened? I look so dull, more dull. She was saying nothing, nothing, nothing. I went back. It's like I was going out that day, and I came back to her and I asked her. She started this, this, this. I said, Okay, no problem. Okay, about accommodation. I said. We, as we are there, we have an issue with our landlords. But when we can, once we are still there, we can come along. But let me discuss with my husband, of which I told her at the initial stage. We both agree on that issue. So we departed. When I came, I told my husband, my husband said, Okay, no problem. That once that 
it's you that knows her. She doesn't know her. Okay, no problem. So I go back to her. I told her, that's when she begins to live together. Having a shelter did not stop unfriendly comments from people around. This widow's daughter, Eniola, also shared how her mother's illness affects her personally. Some people, they don't want to make friends with me because their parents, they'll be telling them that, ah, that daughter, a woman, she has um, cancer, something like that. That, ah, oh, mom, mama, cancer, I want to be making friends with her. I don't want to see you with her. Even though some of my friends, I'll go to their house, they will insult me, their mother will say all sorts of things about my mother. So I'll be sad. I'll just leave their house. For five years, Moyo lived only on liquids, pap and tea, literally, barely looking like a shadow of herself. But help seems to have come. This lady with this jaw tumor came to see us in the hospital. And I was moved by her story. And because in our foundation, what moves us is love and compassion. We have decided to take up her treatment, um, take her to see an oral and musculofacial surgeon, one of our friends and our partners, to help her take out this tumor and let, let her live a good life. Um, apparently, she's had it for five years. And one of the surgeons said that, that the person that wanted to help her uh, five years ago told her that she, that she must sleep with him before he could help, him, help her. And that's a very touching story. You know, because of our focal point and our work, we will help her take out this, this shame, this pain. And by the grace, we will give her a new life in the coming weeks. It's not a myeloblastoma. It's a, it's a tumor of the jaw. Hopefully it's benign, uh, it's a benign tumor of the jaw. And um, we'll do tests to be sure if it's malignant or not, but, but we're going to take out this tumor, that's important. Even if it's malignant or, or it's benign, it has to be taken away. So we'll take it out for her, um, and she can smell and, and eat better again. She can eat, she can swallow. It's a lot of pain. And indeed, love found her as Dr. Benjamin Oluwajibutu and his partner, Dr. Ambadi, made it possible. The surgery was done. And yes, we went to see the new Moyo. It's like this miracle. Thank God for you. I can't believe it, but God is faithful. I thank God. On the, on the 13th of November, I was admitted. So they said they are going to carry out the surgery on the 17th, which they cannot do. Due to, the, to my blood, blood level, they said the blood level is too low, that they can't risk it because that surgery will consume blood. Before they said, I have to donate four pounds of blood. So they now suspend the surgery the 25th of November. So before then, the blood was already ready. On the 25th, I went there for admission. My consultant told me that, hmm, and you will not that four pounds of blood will not be enough. That at least you will use more than seven. I said, what? <laughs> so before the surgery, they gave me two. On the 29th, which is the day, that did. So, I left the world around 6 o'clock in the morning. When I get to the theater, they start the shock day around tonight. So my doctor told me that we are going to give you injection, you are going to sleep. Oh. That is all I know. <laughs> because, so, 
I wake up around to 10 in the night. As I opened my eyes, I saw everybody. The doctors, they started laughing at me, I said. I don't know any, anything, I can't talk. I said, hmm, they said, hmm. <laughs> the coming days were still of surprise and disbelief as she awakes from surgery. When I woke up, I don't even know that they have done it because I don't feel anything. When I opened my eyes, I saw them. I said, huh? Because I cannot talk. I said, eh, they said, eh, they said, 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 they Eh? Yeah? Good. So I can come back to normal again. Hmm. So those doctors, they now come back. They see me and say, eh, yeah, your face has come down. I was just looking at them. I was laughing. So anything they ask me, I'm only writing it. I cannot talk. What is fast? Ah. I was so excited. Now a new woman, she explained that she is free of pain, all that is left are scars that have become an indelible sign of love and kindness of humanity to her through Dr. Ben. Hmm. People should help me to thank Dr. Ben on my behalf. Hmm. In fact, that one, ah, it really surprised me. I don't know what to say. My sister, I don't know. That one really tried. Ah, and even his wife. You know, we women now, some women can destroy their husband, not, not, to, not to try it. Ah, no, in fact, ah, we went to hospital that day together with his wife. Ah, in fact, ah, ah, I can't believe it. God is merciful. God is merciful. And what's more, she is back to her daily business as a hairstylist, fit and healthy. I'm going to write your story somewhere. With a sense of wit and humor and a sense of relief, she recalls the reaction of those who have seen her since after the surgery. That was my former place. And I called him. Call her. I said, what are you doing that Look at me like this. He said, Who is this? Please, I don't know. I said, Mom, I'm your lap. Your hairdresser. He said, Uh-uh, no. He said, Mom, I'm your lap. Eh? Eh? When? No, 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 no. I said, Uh-uh. I'm the one. If you see how this woman is shouting, she hugged me. She started crying. See? So, you lost it. No. And in a rather relaxed mood, she recalled what she looked like before and how she covered her ailment with a piece of clothing and how it all now belongs to the past. This is how I used to do it that time. If I want to go out, I will do it like this. That thing is very big, I will wrap it like this. Even my mouth. I will do it like this. If they are talking to me, I will hold my hand to cover my room. Even they will not understand what I'm saying. That is how I will go. And see that thing. If we go, they will know that there is something there. That is how I used to go. But now, so, what's now? 
I know you will not want using any scarf again now. <laughs> Even if anybody sees me with this thing, they will see it. They tell me that any time they see this thing on my head, they are ready to see it that you are no one wearing it again. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, all since I become new. <laughs>